Hello, my name is Luca Bussoletti. I'm here today with Tiasha Vulic. Uh, we are a professional world champion in 10 dance and the finalist in the World and European Championship standard. Today we would like to talk about the close hold in tango. Uh, the close hold in tango is uh, the most important thing to create uh, a very good impact in tango and especially to create a speed and control and balance. So the close hold is the first position that a couple should learn to be able to connect the body together and uh, to try to maintain this connection through all the choreography. Doesn't matter if the choreography is basic or uh, open choreography. Now we will demonstrate to you three phases that we normally use to connect ourselves into the tango position. As we know, tango is different from the swing dances because we have this uh, no elevation in the feet, so we have to uh, put our body weight very low into the, into the floor. The three phases that I would like to show you, uh, starting from a very, very close position. Normally we take our position from the distance of our arms and we step in three phases. The first one is to step both my left foot and Tiasha right foot. This is the first step we do it. Now we connect the body together so the body weight will be together and we create this connection. And then in the end, we balance our body to allow our feet and our leg to find the space to be exactly in the same position all the time. So one more time, Tiasha. So we take our distance through the arms. Now we do the first phase, one. We connect the body and of course the right and the left arm. And then in the end, we set our body weight to be able to find the right position, the right balance. What the couple should uh, check when they are in the close hold? They have to check that the lady will be exactly on her feet, in balance of course, where the body weight in the middle of the feet, with the center exactly together and connect with the body. Of course, the feet position, as usual, is with the right foot slightly backwards, and the legs are connected together. The space that the lady creates in the leg needs to be covered by the man leg. So when the couple create this very simple connection, should find a very, very strong movement into the floor. So we have one, two, and three. Very good. So now I can feel the legs of Tiasha, the center are together, I am on my, on my feet, she is on her feet, and we can start to move very easily. Very good, Yasha. Now, what is very important for the couple? In any amalgamation, in any routine, there are some places that we normally call a checkpoint where the couple needs to exactly check if the position is in the same way all the time. We give you some example. If, for example, we dance uh, a reverse turn, finish in close, in close position, we start from the same three phases, so we do one, two, and three. Now we go into dance this reverse turn, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. In the end of the close position, we should check if our connection is still the same. So I'm able to be on my feet, Tiasha is able to stay on her feet in balance. The connection with our body and with our leg is the same as the beginning, so we don't create a gap and clapping during the dancing. This is something that in today's dancing, because of a very, very um, strange choreography, sometimes couples create gapping and clapping. This is one of the most important uh, points that the couple should avoid. Standard dances are one of the most particular things for the standard dancing is the, the full connection. So we don't want to see any gapping, any clapping. That's why we have to start really from a very, very strong and clear understanding how to take the position together. So if we do again, we show one more time. So we start from our arm distance. Now we dance the first step, body connection and arms, and then body weight. Now from here, we can start to move quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. In the end of the close, we are exactly in the same position as the beginning, so I'm 
I will be able to start the next movement in the right position. Very good. If we start to move, for example, to a different position, so we start in close hold, as we show you right now, so one, two, three, I can open now the promenade position, and in the moment when, for example, we dance a close position, again, slow, quick, quick, slow, both of us, we are checking if the close hold is in the right way. So I still get the right feeling in my leg, together with Tiasha's leg. I have the right connection in the body. I am on my feet, she step on her feet. So both of us are in the hard position to create the next movement. One more time, Tiasha. And one, two, three. Prominent position and close prominent. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Very good. So as you see, every time we finish our close position, we are trying to check if everything is in the right place. What we should avoid, or what we should check that is wrong, for example, if we start and we dance this close promenade, now, for example, a step in the right, in the wrong, in the wrong position, now she's out of control, the balance is not right well, my right side is completely out from her body, so all the position is wrong. So this will be very, very difficult to start the next, uh, the next movement. So we do the right way one more time. First phase, and one, second, two body, three balance. Very good. We open the promenade, and, and we dance the close promenade. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Very good. So as you see, every time we arrive in the end uh, of any figure, we try to collect our feet uh, and see if the connection in the right side, right to my right side, position is in the right way, if the connection in the leg is okay, and especially if the balance is perfect for her and for myself. So the lady needs to be exactly on her feet, I must be exactly on my feet. The same thing we can check even if we finish, for example, a position with open feet. Uh, if we dance, for instance, uh, a prominent link, so we do the same starting position, and one, two, three, we open the promenade, if we dance now a prominent link, slow, quick, quick, as soon as we transfer body weight and we close our feet, the checkpoint should be exactly the same. Same body connection, same leg connection, and especially same balance. Very good. So now Tiasha is able to, you can lift your feet eh, in your place, I can lift on my feet on my place, and we have the right position to start the next movement. One more time. We start again, and one, two, three. We open the promenade, and we do the promenade link, slow, quick, quick. We transfer body weight on the free foot, we close with the other, and as you see, our position is exactly as in the beginning. So you see, every time we dance and we practice the choreography, we try to give to ourselves every few figures, or eventually every figure, a checkpoint to see if our connection is in the right way. Now we go through, for example, an, another, uh, another step, a line. We will dance a drop over sway, okay, very characteristic figure for the tango, and the same thing. We will start with our close hold. One, two, three. We dance our uh, drop over sway, quick, quick, slow, slow, in the end of the drop over sway, we recover our free leg, we close our feet, and as soon as we arrive in the close hold, we check if the, our body position is exactly in the same way. So the legs are connected, my right side is covered to, uh, from uh, Tiasha's right side, she is completely on her feet, I am on my feet. So the next movement will be start in the right way. One more time. And one, two, three. Drop over sway and quick, quick, slow, slow. We recover the leg, we close our feet, and we are in the same position. 
So now the next movement will be free. So this is, for, for me and for Tiash, a very important subject that all the couple, low-level couple, high-level couple, should take under consideration when they practice, especially in tango, because the position of the leg is quite complicated because of the lowering. So many times the couple cannot find the space to connect it, uh, to connect with the leg and the body. And this is a very clear method, very simple method to, to try to achieve the right position to start uh, their choreography. So I hope this will help you. Thank you very much from me and Tiasha, and good luck. Enjoy your dancing.